Hey you guys, it's Peter and welcome to my channel, Peter Review Stuff. And I'm really excited about this review today because it's something that's been sitting in my closet for a long time. So welcome to my uh, kitchen. Come and get some in Martika's kitchen, baby. Do you guys remember that song from back in the day? Oh my god. Okay, so I just looked it up to see if I had the words right, which I did, by the way. I don't know how I remember the words from that horrible dance song that they used to play in the clubs in the 90s. But anyway, that song did not even hit a half a million views on YouTube. Come and get some in Martika's, Martika, Mortika's, in Mortika's kitchen, baby. Okay, so let's get right into this review, shall we? Um, more, sir. Could I please have some more? Okay. Today, let's look and see what Santa Claus brought me. Oh my God, it's in my huge family stocking, which I seem to be the only one that ever gets presents in this stocking. Today, Santa Claus brought me, are you ready? Woo! <laughs> oh wait, <laughs> Santa Claus brought me the Captain Crunch. It says Captain Crunch. Christ I never noticed that before, actually. Limited edition Christmas Crunch. Look how delicious that looks. Can you guys see? Now, there are several Christmas cereals out this year, okay? I think there's a Rice Krispie one, and I know that there's like a sugar cookie. Um, oh, shoot, what's it called? Oh, I'm gonna remember it in just a second. A Cinnamon Toast Crunch. I think there's a cinnamon or a sugar cookie version of that that I will be reviewing on this channel. So I'm gonna be reviewing some of the other holiday uh, cereals as well. I'm really excited about it. But this was the first one that I found. It's been sitting in my closet now for well over a week. So I thought that I would review it. And um, right here in Martika's kitchen, Martika's kitchen, I have my plate and, and I have my spoon already. And I also have some milk. And for me, I am using today, it's not a plain milk, so it's gonna be hard to like kind of compare it with this, but I think that it might up it a little bit. And that is toasted oats and almond almond milk. And I love this stuff so much. Okay, so anyway, let me just tell you, first of all, back in the day, true story, my mother, as a special treat, she loved to eat cereal. Are you ready? Not with skim milk, not with whole milk, with half and half. If you guys do not care about the calories and all that kind of stuff, go get some half and half. Do you guys know what half and half is? It's basically like cream. Get half and half and get some Captain Crunch, Captain Crunch, or whatever cereal. It's great on granola too. Or like I used to get on those corn pops. I loved it. So that's what I used to eat back in the day for a little special treat was with the half and half. That's why I'm on a special personal training diet right now, okay? We don't need to talk to him about today, me doing this review. Now, he said I could do my reviews. He said, we'll do that. We just don't need to eat a whole lot. And I said, okay, I'll stick to that. So, before I get into this, is there a special treat in this? We don't need to look at the, I, I definitely don't want to know the nutritional facts on this. So, on the back of it, it says, try our other treats. Crunch berries, peanut butter crunch. I love that Peter butter, peanut butter crunch. It's so good. And just regular Captain Crunch. Captain Crunch. Okay. And then they have, did you know they have social media? I mean, he's basically viral at this point. You can follow him on the Twitter, on the Instagram, and the Facebook. I didn't know that. I might have to follow them. Okay. So then on the back of this, you even get a game. Now, when I was a kid, still today to this day, like when I ever go, when I go over to my good Judy Tanya's house, is this like hitting the light and making this sh <laughs> shake? Rattle right and roll. When I go over to my good Judy's house, I still have to have something to read. Thank God she always buys those trashy magazines. I love those trashy magazines so much. But anyway. She always buys them and has them sitting around her table. And so when I'm like eating, you know, sandwich or something sitting there at her house, like we're sitting there, I'm always like flipping through in those magazines. But when I was a kid, I always had to have cereal box sitting right in front of me and I would read everything on the back of that. Did you guys do that? Okay, so this one says, decorate your holiday crafts with some Christmas crunch. Now, one of the things I may be doing on this channel very soon, I saw it last night, was the Grinch Chex Mix. Did you see this? Like holiday dessert deal. DIY. Okay, I may buy the Chex Mix. It's special edition boxes that have the recipe on the back of it, and I may try to make this stuff. It looks awfully delicious. <laughs> I'm sure very appetizing and low in calories. Not. Okay, nobody says not anymore. Do you remember that? I just aged myself. Not. Madonna did that. Okay, decorate your holiday crafts with. There's like people that are for the first time ever watching this, and they're like, who is this crazy dude? Just Peter. Anyway, decorate your holiday crafts with some Christmas crunch. Buy a gingerbread house. Why not? It's a Tuesday. We can have fun. I mean, or a Friday. Buy a gingerbread house kit from your local store and use the pieces to dress it up. Okay, you could put the... It says on here you could show it make the roof out of the Captain Crunch. Try stringing together a bunch of crunch for a festival garland. I think that would be nice for the birds. Can birds eat Captain Crunch? Five... Oh, there's... Wait. Use shapes... Five shapes to use on three fun crafts. 
so many, so many. I love Crash, don't you? Oh my lord. I might start me a Captain Crunch Etsy store. Use graham crackers and frosting to build a house. Decorate with crunch to make a great holiday cr creation. If I did that, I know it. I might do that with DIY too. You know, it'd come out to look like total trash. Okay. Now let's get right here into what we're really here for, and that is the review. I'm so excited. I love to smell food. You guys love to smell food? I do. Do they still put, uh, like, prizes? <laughs> prizes! Do they still put prizes? <laughs> That's a little inside joke between a friend of mine. He doesn't even watch my videos. But do they still put prizes in cereal boxes? Do they? Fun holiday shaves. I don't think there is a prize in here. No, anyway. The prize is the cereal here. Okay, so basically, I'm not going to put a whole lot in here because I don't want to waste it. And I'm not going to be eating a whole lot because, you know, it's not one of my cheat days. But anyway, underneath there you get, um, I don't even really know what these shapes are. Here, I guess I should probably look and see. The shapes are, I guess these are, uh, this looks like a Christmas tree. Like a red, kind of. Really, not so much. And then you have a green star. And then green Christmas. They're Christmas trees and stars. And then I guess, I don't know. What does this look like? It looks like a wasabi pea, if you ask me. <laughs> I don't know about what I think about. What is all of this? Oh my lord. What is that? It looks like a turd. Straight up. Look at that. Oh, now I have to show you on the white plate so you can see. What is that color, Captain Crunch? That color is not pretty. Okay, it looks like, I don't know, mouse turd or something like that. We won't be eating her. Okay, so let's get right into this. I should probably eat. Let's just try it without it. So, mmm. Kind of berryish. I like really just the regular Captain Crunch. I don't like that really berry bunch. What's it called? Crunch and berries. I don't love that so much. Oh my lord. Is this like supposed to be a color? There's a couple of these brown ones in there. Can you see? I'm trying to put it against my shirt. I'm so disturbed by that. Lord. Okay. Now, I'm not one of those people that doesn't put a lot of milk. I like to put a lot of milk in my cereal. Okay. <laughs> this is so good, okay? Let me just tell you this Califia, not sponsored. Almond milk is so good. I love it. And it's real low-cal, too. 30 grams, or 30 calories, 1.5 grams of fat, 2 grams of carbs, 1 gram of dietary fiber, and 1 protein. I mean, overall, it's pretty good for you, don't you think? Let's see the sodiums and stuff. I didn't look at all that. No, it's all low. It's really good. Okay. Serving size, <laughs> 1 teaspoon. Serving size, 8 fluid ounces. So, anyway, okay. Let's get into this. Mix it all up. Don't you hate when your cereal gets real soggy? That's just the BS, isn't it? The world. I hate that. I like my cereal to be real crunchy like this, Captain Crunch. I hate. That looks more aesthetic. Do you guys watch Project One Way? They always say that on there. If I ever want to be a judge on Project One Way. Oh my lord, there's another one of those poop colored ones. If I ever want to get on Project Runway as a judge, I have to use that word, aesthetic. Okay. So anyway, I like when it's crunchier. Okay. Cheers. Mmm. It basically tastes like Captain Crunch. I'm going to try to get a bunch of the green and reds. See? This is what it looks like. <laughs> this is not a mukbang. I mean, I guess really the fun is in the box. <laughs> I mean, the box is beautiful, really it is, isn't it? But who cares? I mean, once you've read it once. I don't know. It just, it tastes like Captain Crunch to me with, I don't know. That just it tastes like Captain Crunch. It doesn't taste any different to me. Is it supposed to? Fun holiday shapes. No, it's just supposed to be the holiday shapes. That is totally a cheat. Well, the box is pretty. I mean, it is pretty cereal if you're sitting there. You know, if you're a kid, you'd love that kind of stuff, wouldn't you? As an adult, who'd care, I guess? Me, maybe. I mean, if I was watching Miracle on 34th Street or something. Mm. Yes, Virginia, there is a Santa Claus. <laughs> but it's not in this box of cereal. So anyway, I would probably give this, on a fun factor, I mean, the box is beautiful. The cereal is really pretty, honestly. I mean, as cereals go, how, how pretty is your cereal? 
I mean, so like, I mean, compared to the other cereals I've seen of the world, I would probably give this a five, like literally. I think the box is gorgeous. It's very fun. I would probably give the box a five. The taste is just, it's Captain Crunch. I would give it totally a three. I mean, I, and I like Captain Crunch. It's okay, but it's like Boarsville. So I think overall I would give the whole experience a four. And now I am done with all that. So, have you guys tried this? Let me know what you think in the comment section below. Let me know what other cereals that you think I should try. That was really fun. So I'm excited about that. And um, I may take this over. I'm going over to my in-laws tonight. I may give this to my uh, my nephews. Although my sister-in-law, she doesn't like them having a lot of sugar. And this is a lot of sugar. Well, it didn't say it was a lot of sugar, but I bet it is a lot of sugar. Anyway, so I love you guys. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. And I will see you in the next review. Bye.